Hey there movie lovers, welcome back to Movie Flash Recaps, your go-to channel for quick, informative recaps of all your favorite movies. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss out on our latest content. Tomorrowland is a science fiction adventure movie that takes you on an incredible journey through space and time. It was released in 2015 and grossed over $209 million worldwide at the box office. The film is visually stunning, with breathtaking special effects that will leave you in awe. The cast is excellent, with standout performances from George Clooney and Britt Robertson. The story is original, imaginative, and thought-provoking, with a powerful message about the importance of hope and optimism. Overall, Tomorrowland is a must-see movie that will leave you feeling inspired and uplifted. The movie tells the story of Casey Newton, a young, optimistic teenager who discovers a mysterious pin that transports her to a futuristic world called Tomorrowland. There, she meets Frank Walker, a former boy genius inventor who has lost his faith in the future. Together, they embark on a dangerous mission to save Tomorrowland and rediscover the hope and optimism that once inspired humanity. A quick trivia, Tomorrowland was inspired by the futuristic land of the same name at Disney Parks. The film's director, Brad Bird, is best known for his work on The Incredibles and Ratatouille. The movie features a cameo by Jules Verne, the famous French author and pioneer of science fiction literature. Frank, a young genius, goes to the 1964 New York World's Fair to compete in the inventor's competition. Judge Nix is initially quite surprised by Frank's prototype jetpack, but he quickly changes his mind after discovering that it isn't very effective. Even though Frank gets along well with Nix's assistant Athena, Nix won't let him participate in the competition until the jetpack is functional. Frank goes home with a broken heart and can't stop thinking about how many times his dad told him he was wasting his time. Athena comes up to him and gives him an orange pin with a blue T on it. She tells him to follow her and Nix without getting caught. Nix and his group are going to a popular attraction, but the line is long, so Frank sneaks through a side door and jumps into an empty boat. In the middle of the ride, Frank's pin is picked up by a laser, which opens a trapdoor and sends the boat down a dark hallway. Frank is happy to step into a wagon that looks like it came from the future. But as soon as he does, metal blinds cover all the doors and windows, and the wagon starts shaking like crazy. Frank trips and falls down. He can't get up until the wagon stops. When the doors open, Frank steps out and finds himself on a platform surrounded by thick fog. To his surprise, he sees Athena and Nix inside a flying car that just flew by. Frank tries to go after them, but big robots appear in front of him and try to stop him. The kid runs around the platform to avoid the robotic arms, but he trips and falls, breaking his jetpack when he hits the platform below. A helpful robot shows up, takes the jetpack, fixes it, and then gives it back to Frank. At that moment a group of guards came to catch Frank, so he took a step back and fell again. This time though, he has his jetpack with him, so he puts it on and turns it on. Now that the robot is fixed, he can finally fly with it. Frank flies through the fog and finds himself in Tomorrowland, a city of the future where only the smartest people live. Frank lands next to Athena when he sees her. He uses this time to show Nix that he's fixed the jetpack. Nix ignores him, but Athena takes Frank's hand and shows him what his life will be like from now on. Years later, in 2015, a teenage girl named Casey sneaks into a NASA launch site in Florida and breaks all the equipment that will be used for the demolition. She does this because she doesn't want her dad, who works as an engineer at NASA, to lose his job. Athena is watching everything from the shadows. When Casey gets home, Athena uses a small scanner to get Casey's DNA from her bike helmet and codes it into her last Tomorrowland pin. Eddie, Casey's dad, gets a call from work the next morning telling him what's going on. Casey thinks she saved his job but Eddie says they'll bring more cranes so she should give up. But Casey tells him that it's more important to keep hope alive. Casey tries to stop the demolition again in the evening, but this time the police are already there, and she is arrested. After a few hours someone pays the bail, and Casey gets her things and goes home. She finds the pin among all the other things, and as soon as she touches it, she has a vision of a different place. The pin falls, and the same thing happens again when Casey touches it. The next time, Casey grabs the pin correctly and sees a huge city in the distance. However, when she tries to walk to the city, the pin falls and she is back in jail because she bumped into things and people in the room. Casey picks up the pin with a gum wrapper to avoid getting into more trouble. Eddie, who had paid Casey's bail, shows up at that moment to take her home. On the way home, he tells Casey she did something wrong, so she makes him touch the pin and tells him it will make sense of everything. Eddie, on the other hand, does nothing when he touches the pin. Casey is confused, so she touches the pin herself and sees herself in the other world. She figures that this only works for her. Eddie gets sick of hearing Casey talk about the pin, so he takes it from her. 
When they get home, Casey waits for Eddie to fall asleep so he can take the pin from his nightstand. As soon as she touches it, she is in the other world, and when she walks toward the city, she bumps into her house's walls and even falls down the stairs. Eddie wakes up when he hears the noise, which makes Casey hide and decide to do this somewhere else. Casey goes to the middle of a big field and touches the pin. This lets her show up in Tomorrowland at last. She finds out that the pin has a timer that is running down while she is on the train going deeper into the city, and that no one can see her. At the next stop, Casey gets off the train and sees some important scientists, getting into a different type of wagon. She tries to follow them, but all of a sudden there is water all around her because the pin timer is about to hit zero. Casey tries to ignore it and pushes through the water, but soon Tomorrowland disappears and she finds herself in a swamp. When Casey gets home, she wakes up her brother Nate and asks him for the computer password for their dad. The siblings look for the pin online and find an ad for a store that will buy these pins from anyone. Casey writes down the address of the shop and asks Nate to tell their father that she and some friends are going camping. When Athena shows up at the house in the morning, Nate tells her that he is going camping. Athena can tell that he is lying, so she keeps on him until he finally tells the truth. Casey meanwhile goes to the store from the ad. It's clear that the otherworldly clerks are interested in it, and they confirm that what Casey saw was real. Tomorrowland is a city where the smartest people got together to make things without being limited by government or greed. The only way to get into the city is by using the pin. The clerks want to buy the pin and find out where Casey got it. When Casey refuses to help, they press a button to lock the door and reveal a pair of futuristic weapons that can shoot plasma. Casey tries to hide among the things for sale, but the clerks find her and ask for information about a girl. Suddenly a grenade goes through the window and creates a force field around the clerks, freezing them in place. Athena walks in with a gun and says it's a time bomb that won't last long. She then helps Casey pull her hand out of the field. Unfortunately, this stops the bomb from going off, so the clerks are free to attack again. Athena fights them one-on-one -on -one while Casey throws things at them. When Athena takes off one of their heads, Casey is shocked to find out that both clerks were made of moving parts. After telling Casey that the animatronics are about to blow up on their own, Athena pulls him out of the shop just in time to avoid the blast. Then, Athena breaks a car window to open it, pushes Casey inside, and starts the car with a special tool while telling Casey that they need to get away before they find them. Casey starts to ask questions on the way, and Athena tells her that she gave the pin to Casey. Before she can say anything else, she suddenly starts to break down. Casey watches in horror as Athena fixes herself because she, too, is an animatronic. Casey gets scared and jumps out of the car. Athena tries to follow her, but as soon as she steps onto the road, a truck hits her. The driver came right away to check on her, and Casey took the chance to get away by stealing the truck. Athena is fine though, and she runs after the truck right away, jumping through the window to grab the keys and lock the door. Casey starts to yell, and Athena finally gets her to stop by telling her that Casey is her last pin, and that they need to get to Tomorrowland quickly because they made something they shouldn't have. When the police get to the store that blew up, they find a robot head that has been burned. Before they could dig deeper, a man named Dave showed up and said he worked for the Secret Service. After seeing the robot head, Dave also pulls out a futuristic weapon and kills all the cops. He then tells his friends that they've found the girl and should tell Nix. The girls are going to New York to find the only person who can get them back into Tomorrowland. Casey starts to ask Athena about the other people who got pins, but she can't answer, so she stops talking. The next morning, Athena wakes up and takes over driving so Casey can rest. Athena tells Casey that the person they'll be visiting is named Frank. When Casey falls asleep, Athena keeps herself busy by thinking about all the fun times she used to have with her friend. Casey wakes up a few hours later when she is pushed out of the truck in front of a house in the country. Since Athena is leaving, Casey has no choice but to go up to the house, where a guard dog chases him away. Casey trips and falls in the mud, which makes her realize that the dog is not leaving Prince because it's a hologram. Casey walks past the fake beast and knocks on the door. She shows the camera her pin and asks to be taken to Tomorrowland. Casey is pushed back by a sudden gust of wind, and a much older Frank comes out of the house and asks where Athena is. Frank gets mad when he finds out she's gone, so he tells Casey to leave Tomorrowland because it's all a lie to trick people. When Frank got back home he locked the door. Casey won't leave and stays outside even when it starts to rain. At some point, she gets tired and looks around to figure out what to do. Casey gets Frank to leave the house by setting fire to the plow truck. While Frank is busy putting out the fire, Casey runs inside and locks the door. When Frank tries to get in again, Casey just pushes him away with the same blast of air. Casey starts to look around the house and finds all kinds of strange things. 
One machine plays a tape of a little boy named Frank, trying to make Athena laugh, and Athena telling him to stop. In another room she finds a bunch of screens showing the news, and a timer that is slowly counting down. Frank comes back into the house through a secret door under the stairs. He is ready to kick Casey out, but she talks him into telling her what happened. Frank was kicked out of Tomorrowland because he built a timer that was connected to the screens, which was against the rules. He asks Casey if she would like to know when she will die, and she says she would, but she wouldn't believe it because they need to be able to make their own choices. When he says this, the percentage on the screen goes down, which impresses Frank a lot. Dave and his agents, who are actually robots looking for Casey, show up in the middle of their conversation. Frank turns on all the metal blinds right away, and when one robot uses her strength to get inside anyway, Frank uses a tool to electrocute her. An electrical trap on the wall kills another robot, and Frank gets rid of two more by making them fall through a secret trapdoor. Then Frank and Casey run to the living room, where another robot is waiting. Frank fights it with his bare hands, and Casey helps him win by getting a special machine that makes portals and putting the robot inside it. As they go upstairs, more robots fall into the traps around the house. Dave catches up to them and puts a gun to Frank's head. Casey finds a bat, which he uses to beat Dave to death. Then Frank drags Casey into the bathroom and makes them both jump into the tub, which he turns on to turn it into a capsule. One more robot comes after them and tries to grab the tub. At that moment Frank throws it, and the capsule flies out and lands in the lake. Frank and Casey swim out and go into the woods, where Frank has hidden a bike that won't start. The two people are startled when they see a light coming toward them, but it's just Athena coming to pick them up. Frank and Athena start fighting as soon as they get in the truck and hit the road. It turns out that all of the pins were meant to be destroyed, but Athena got away with the last box of 12 so she could keep recruiting people. Frank is angry that more young people are getting involved, so he tells Casey that Athena lied. She doesn't shut down if you ask too many questions, she just ignores you. Frank thinks that Athena fakes her feelings to get you close to her, so she can then leave you. Athena is hurt, but she doesn't worry about it for now. Instead she leads them to the local station, where Frank has set up his secret network that sends signals to his house. There's another capsule waiting for them, and once the humans are wearing the right protection, they turn on the system that teleports them away. Casey finds out that they are at the top of the Eiffel Tower, when they get there. There's a guard near the door, but Frank brought a bunch of inventions in his bag, including a small tool that Casey can use to knock the guard out with just a light tap. They go into a room with a display of famous inventors, and Frank tells them that Eiffel, Verne, Tesla, and Edison started Tomorrowland, by using the Eiffel Tower as an antenna to get to the other world. People have always said that there was a secret entrance, and Frank finds it after looking around. This makes the Eiffel Tower break in half and reveal a rocket, so the three people hurry inside before more robots come to get them. When the rocket takes off, it sends out energy that pushes the robots away. After flying up for a while, the robot comes back and opens a portal, as it falls very fast. The group gets to Tomorrowland soon after. The police saw them fall and are coming after them, so Frank makes Athena hide a special bomb he brought with him inside her body. Nix, who is in charge of the city, is the first person they meet. He wants to put them in jail. Frank and Athena quickly got him to change his mind by telling him that Casey could lower the percentages on the screens. Nix, who is shocked, takes the three of them to the headquarters, where Frank's dangerous machine, called a Tachyon machine, is kept. When they ride the elevator, Casey sees holograms that are actually glimpses of the future. These are caused by a machine that uses a particle that moves much faster than light. The group goes into the middle of the machine, where Frank shows Casey how to use it. This lets Casey look at any time in human history. Casey is shocked to see herself in her house a few mornings ago. Frank tells her that the machine can also look into the future, so she starts speeding through history until she realizes the problem. The machine says that the world will end in 58 days. Casey doesn't understand why they aren't trying to warn people on Earth. Nix tells him that he doesn't care because it's not Tomorrowland, but Earth that will end. He won't let anyone move in because he's afraid they'll do the same things to Tomorrowland that they did to Earth. Casey won't accept this, and because of that, the screen flickers for a second and shows a better world. Frank tries to say that this shows that there is a chance, but Nix just knocks him and the others out. Soon after, Frank wakes up, and finds Athena telling them they'll be deported again. Casey is sad because this whole adventure has been for nothing, and when Frank tries to cheer her up, she snaps at him and says that he and the others have been lying to her. As she starts to rant, she has a sudden realization, Frank has been stealing the machine signal so he can watch it at home, and the signal is floating around Earth, zapping people's minds with these ideas of doom. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, but Casey's optimism could change it, so turning it off would let people see the light again. 
The guards come to get the three people so they can be sent through a portal, out of Tomorrowland. Casey tries to tell Nix about what she found and asks him to turn off the machine, but Nix says there is no off button. Frank sees that the truth is that Nix is putting the idea in people's heads on purpose because of how calm he is. Nix says that in the past, trying to warn the government about the coming disaster was ignored, so he sent the idea directly to people's heads as a warning to get them to change their ways. But instead of trying to make things better, people accepted that the end of the world was inevitable. Nix thinks that it's not the machine's fault, but rather that people are to blame. Frank acts like he agrees and shakes Nix's hand, but he only does this to touch Nix's bracelet, and start the machine platform up again. Athena and Casey take out the guards while Frank fights Nix. Nix sends two robots after the girls while Frank is busy with Nix. Frank tells Athena to use the bomb he gave her, but the robots catch her when she tries. Athena gives Casey the bomb while she fights the robots, and Casey runs to the platform, which starts moving like crazy, because Frank and Nix keep fighting over the bracelet on the other side of the portal. Athena takes control of one of the robots, and uses it to push the other robot through the portal, making it attack Nix as well. Casey is able to set off the bomb by seeing a glimpse of the future, but just as she is about to throw it, Nix takes back control of the bracelet and pulls down the platform. Athena runs to catch the platform with her robot, then runs to the control panel to close the portal. This destroys the second robot and leaves Frank and Nix outside. Casey then finds the bomb, which is about to go off. Athena has no choice but to open the portal again. When the men get back inside, they throw the bomb into the portal so it will explode away from them. Nix is caught when the portal breaks and falls on top of him, but there is a gun close by that he uses to kill Frank. Athena sees Frank dying in a flash from the future. She realizes it's from the future and runs to get between Frank and the shot. Casey takes the gun from Nix, and Frank tries to take Athena to a repair shop, but she tells him to stop because there isn't enough time. She wants Frank to know something very important before she dies, so she plays a series of recordings from when they were younger and lived together. Frank used to like Athena, but it hurt him when he found out that she was a machine. Athena was always bothered by this, so she kept voice diaries in which she wrote about how Frank made her feel things robots shouldn't. Frank is glad to hear that Athena liked him, and never stopped believing in him. It's time for Athena to leave though. Her body is about to explode, and she wants them to use that explosion to stop the machine. Frank uses a jetpack to fly Athena up, and after they say goodbye, Athena is dropped inside the machine. The whole building blows up, and the pieces that fall on Nyx kill him. Tomorrowland loses power, and Frank tries to keep control of the jetpack long enough to land safely in the river. Casey rushes to check on him, and as they talk about what to do next, a bunch of flashes from the future give them an idea. First, Frank fixes the portal so that Casey can see her family again. Then they start working together to restart the pin program. To do this, they build a lot of robots like Athena. These robots use a portal to go all over the world, and leave pins for smart people who might help them make a better future for Earth. Thank you so much for watching our movie recap. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends who might also be interested in this movie. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for more amazing movie recaps and content just like this. Your support means the world to us. Until next time take care and happy watching.